Cape Nature has embarked on a tree planting project in the Cedarburg Mountains to save the endangered Clan William Cedar tree. The annual tree planting event aims to increase its numbers since it's classified as endangered on the red data list. Cape Nature also wants to create awareness about the tree. The rugged Cedarburg Mountains, best explored on foot to see sand rock art, unpolluted rivers, streams and waterfalls. Missing, though, the formerly abundant Clan William cedar tree. Populations declined dramatically and it's estimated that only 6% remain in the wild. This tree only occurs, it only grows here in the Cedarburg, nowhere else in the world. It is endemic to this area. About two to three hundred years ago, there were lots of trees in the area. Unfortunately, due to climate change, the number of these trees have declined to the point where they are now classified as a red, red data species. We have to make an effort to increase the number of trees and annually we plant young trees like these back into the Cedarburg. The annual tree planting ceremony happens in the small village of Yonengflei. Little hands get down to work and anyone with green fingers can join. It's quite a nice initiative for the kids especially to get out there and be in nature and they love it. This is my third time I'm here. I've planted uh, probably three times over the last eight years. Yeah, but I really truly believe in it. For the local community, it's an opportunity to make new friends and play their part in conserving their natural heritage. This is our first time to take part. We heard about it through some friends who work here and um, we thought we'd love to give it a go and be part of planting a tree and doing something for nature. Special water boxes ensure the year-old saplings survive the harsh conditions. Conservation efforts like these are costly and need all the support it can get. It needs a partnership. A lot of people try and do these kind of things on their own, but what's been the success of this project for the last 16 years is the fact that we all work together and everybody has a common goal. It will take this sapling 30 years before it can produce any seed. To reach maturity, it will have to survive droughts, extreme heat and cold, and the threat of fire. But slowly the Cedarburg Mountains are being restored to their former glory. Linky Birman, SABC News, the Cedarburg Mountains.